My grandmother was a great cook. She came to Oak Ridge to work on the Manhattan Project. As a child, she told me lots of stories about all the circumstances of being a Negro here in Oak Ridge in the 1940s. A lot of black people from Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and other states were able to come to Oak Ridge and have a job. Everything was segregated. All of the blacks ended up in the Hutmits, which would have been the worst housing. It was just one room. It had a pot belly stove in the middle, and there were four women or four men. My grandparents did not live together. It was hot in the summer and cold in the winter. They made the best out of it that they could. They just did their jobs, cleaning up, working on building the buildings. If grandmother had a job to do, you can believe it was done right. It was a sense of hope, and that's something that they very much needed at that particular time. Church, of course, was very important. My grandmother was one of the founding members of Oak Valley Baptist Church, where we are today. It's a place where they could go and also know God loved them, and no matter what they were going through, He was there for them. Knowing my grandmother, she probably fed everybody. The cafeterias were segregated, and she and grandfather would get sick when they ate there. She was passing through a building. She hollered up to some of the laborers and said, hey, can you make me some pans? She would take that pan and she would make biscuits. She would always make sure that everybody were well taken care of. It's sort of beat up, it's all black, it doesn't look like much, and I'm sure that by now many people would have thrown it out. It was a part of her experience here in Oak Ridge.